a lot of mistakes that I had to um, fix on my own. I have been putting a lot of time and energy into this. Just the exciting news. I'm very excited. What's up guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. As you guys can tell by the title of this video, this is going to be kind of like a sitting down life update chit chat video. Usually I do my chit chat videos while doing my makeup or something, but I really just wanted to like sit down and just do a life update, um, especially since I've been gone for a while. If you're new to my channel and you haven't seen my face before, hey girl, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos of me. Also, don't forget to comment any video suggestions you guys would like to see on my channel per usual. And also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Enough talking. And let's just get right into the video. Okay, usually I don't take this much time off of posting on YouTube. You know, like I tell you guys, like I enjoy doing YouTube and all this stuff. But I've been having a lot that I have been putting my main um, time, energy, and all into that. And I spoke a little bit about it in my last video. I said that I had like exciting news and all that stuff. So I thought that's since I haven't posted in a while, I might as well just tell you guys what's been going on. So, the exciting news and what I've been having my main priority on is I am starting my own small business. Um, so yeah, I'm starting my own small business. It is going to be a online boutique. Um, I launched September 6th, which is my birthday. My original launch was going to be August 20. 6th I believe but I have to move back my launch day for inventory problems um siding problems and all that stuff I didn't want the I didn't want my launch day to come and I would be stressed out on everything uh, I just wanted to be like a smooth launch day so I just decided to just push the launch day on my birthday which I hope isn't as stressful because I know that I won't be here like at my house on my birthday so I hope it's not as um, stressful but yeah so my launch day is September 6th is going to be an online boutique the name of my online boutique is first edition wardrobe um, I made an Instagram page for it I'll link my Instagram business page in the description box below I also link my personal Instagram too for you guys to go check it out. Yeah, I have been putting a lot of time and energy into this um, small business online boutique. So I didn't really have time to plan YouTube content, film YouTube content, and all that stuff. Starting off like a small business with not like a lot of, um, I guess you can say clout or something, uh, it can be very hard. So. I'm trying to basically grow my engagement and all that stuff by creating content for that so I can gain some type of like audience before my launch day which will lead to sales and all that stuff. It's going to be kind of a unisex type of thing. The reason I say kind of is because there will be some pieces that I think um, both male and female might be um, interested in but I think it's safe to say like the majority of the pieces that's going into my boutique it's for you know people who like very bad B energy so um, yeah but I also have like some calm ideas that's coming out I'm just very excited to showcase with this with you guys and just show you guys what I have in store and show you guys like share this experience with you guys and how it goes you know if you guys are interested in wanting to see like entrepreneur vlogs, um, my launch day vlog, if you guys wanna see like the behind the scenes and all that stuff. And if you guys also want some tips, I know I haven't launched yet, but I can give some tips on what I have learned from mistakes that I have made and teach you guys like mistakes that I have made so you guys don't make it if you are interested in starting a small boutique or a small business period. Because I did go through a lot of mistakes that I had to um, fix on my own. It is a stressful thing because I am doing this all on my own. Um, I don't really have anyone who is helping me. I'm putting in the time, the energy, the money, and all that stuff on my own. 
so it is kind of stressful you know doing stuff by yourself it does take a bigger toll on me since everything is just dumped on me but I'm learning to just try to hang in there get through it and all that stuff but yeah that is just the exciting news I'm very excited I have been watching so many YouTube um so many youtube small business videos so many youtube online boutique videos i pay for master classes email listing platform stuff like i'm just uh, all of that i do want to do some small business videos vlogs but still have my regularly lifestyle beauty um type of vibe with you guys so yeah that is basically the reason why I haven't been so consistent on YouTube. The next thing I just wanna bring up is my Bite. Um, if you have been watching me, of course, then you know that I am on Bite um, retain oh, retainers. Bite aligners to straighten out my teeth. I am now on step eight, and I know people who are watching are gonna be like, girl, you have been on this Bite thing for so long, and I know. I know, but I'm not going to lie. I haven't really been keeping up with my hyper bites um, stuff. And so it has caused me to basically keep my aligners on longer. But I am on but I am on step eight. I'll put a picture of what my teeth looks right now. Uh, my gap is really closing up, I will say that. So I am happy about that. I just wish that I was done sooner. So I'm still gonna do a bite after video once I'm done tell you guys my pros cons um, everything about bites if you are looking for if you are looking or interested in closing your gap fixing your teeth and you want like the real real opinion and everything about it I will definitely still do that type of video and so the next life update that basically happens is my one month of not posting on YouTube is I became vegetarian I know like girl what vegetarian where did they even come from I know I don't even know where it came from um, I've been vegetarian for about five days now which doesn't seem a lot because I just recently started but I just became vegetarian and I didn't become vegetarian because I'm like like I mean like I just I'm not becoming vegetarian because I feel like um, people who eat meat are disgusting and all that stuff because no like I love meat and all that stuff but I became vegetarian because I felt like I wasn't eating healthy I wasn't eating good um, I just wasn't I felt like I was just losing myself again and I think I had to kind of do my business and everything that's just been going on regarding my business like I just haven't been putting time on what I've been eating putting time on what I've been putting in my body um, and I just feel like I started seeing kind of like symptoms from it like um I would always feel like bleh at the end of the day um, from what from everything that I've eaten like me past me I would never go a day without eating some type of green or some type of fruit like I just can't go a day of just eating um, a burger a pizza rice and beans and that's it like I would always have to eat some type of greens in my meals but recently I have just not been caring about what I've just been putting in my body and it's been showing and I've, it's been showing physically emotionally everything so I so I thought the best bet for me to put more vegetables um, healthy like nutrients and all that stuff if I go vegetarian so I decided to just go vegetarian I decided to just cut off all meat um, I didn't go vegan which was my first my first thing was that I wanted to go vegan but my brother actually persuaded me not to go vegan because he basically just told me how hard it would be and it would just kind of stress me out there's not a lot of resources that sell like vegan products and all that stuff like I know there's like there's no Trader Joe's here. There's no um, freaking Costco's. There's no Whole Foods. There's n there's none of that here. 
Um, I have like Walmart, regular supermarkets and all that stuff. So I was just like, you know what, you're actually right. I should just go vegetarian. So I do eat eggs, I do eat cheese, I do eat all that stuff. I just don't eat meat. What I can say from just these five days of just being vegetarian is I do feel a lot better. I do feel like my sleep is starting to get very good um before like when i was just when i was telling you guys that i was just eating whatever my sleep was just not well um i would like sleep very late but then wake up super early because i can't go back to sleep and i would just feel like ugh, getting up in the morning like i didn't want to get up in the morning i didn't want to do anything i just wanted to just stay in my bed but i couldn't sleep so recently um, my sleep is progressively getting better I do have a boutique and I do have to promote the styles and all that stuff and I have to do that on my own so I don't have any like models to like model the stuff so I have to do it on my body and I want the clothes to look as good as possible so I want my body to look as good as possible and that's pretty much it for this life update video why I've been gone for so long um, I hope you guys like this like little news of my online boutique again I will link my business Instagram page in the description box below and I'll also link my personal Instagram page in the description box below please show support support black owned businesses um, and yeah I really hope you guys just enjoy what's coming and I will be trying my best to stay as consistent and I'm falling off trying to multitask. Semester is starting soon. So I don't know. Um, I have to like balance my business, college classes, YouTube. But I know at the end of the day, all of this will, I know at the end of the day, all of this will be worth it. Because you guys know I talk about this all the time. What I want to see myself in the future with like influence, with like influencer working for myself um so yeah she's a boss babe i'm officially a boss babe but yeah thank you guys for rocking with me i love you all love you all so much um don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one bye